16. On the surface, it seems like a normal number, but looking further, it's so much more than that. Being 16 is a very big deal, as it's in the top three biggest birthdays, with 18 being there because it officially makes you an adult, and 21 because you're legally allowed to drink to your heart's content. Wait, I just looked it up, and apparently in Austria, the legal drinking age is 16 or 18 years old? Guys, you'll never believe where I am right now! All jokes aside, 16 is mainly considered to be the golden age of being a teenager, as it opens up so many opportunities and allows you to have a birthday many call a sweet 16. Actually, that's more for the females, because I recently looked that up as well, but, you know, we're just gonna continue to call it a sweet 16. With all that out of the way, in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys about my 16th birthday. Because yes, I am officially 16 years old. I've actually been 16 for a little bit now, so don't even think about commenting happy birthday because you're too late! I recommend staying to the end of the video because this celebration went in a way I never saw coming. With all that being said, let's get on with the story. Now with a birthday, normally you wake up with a smile on your face. You run over to your dresser and grab a small photo of some guy named Logan. Huh? You then apologize to a large poster of Joey Lockhart and give it a kiss. You rush over to your closet and open it to reveal your sweet 16 wish list. You stick the photo of Logan on it and close your closet door, only for your family to jump scare you with a happy birthday and take a photo of you. If you have no idea what I just referenced, it's the opening of 16 Wishes, an original Disney movie about a girl turning 16. That wasn't a joke either. Everything I mentioned was in fact true. Here, take a look. God, I can't believe I had to voice over this stupid shit. Oh boy, 7 a.m. <laughs> oh man, today's the day! Dude, you're 16 and your room looks like it was made by an 8 year old. Bro, who the fuck is this guy? <sighs> Sorry, Joey. I don't like the way he's staring at us. Oh god. Dude, is that a fireplace behind your bed? Oh, why is there gum? No, don't, don't eat it! Bro, you're disgusting! Oh, never mind. Your name's Abby. Yeah, that checks out. Dude, some of these are a waste of a wish. What do you mean you want to like sushi? Dude, is it just me, or do movies just always use gum for the wrong purposes? Like, what the fuck is she doing with it? Hey, Logan. Yes, that's right. I'm 16, which means I'm two years becoming legal age for us to be together. Nah, because she actually delulu like that. Nice. My 16th wish? Yeah, I want it to be just a picture of that guy. <laughs> now, you might be wondering, was this really how you woke up on your birthday? And the answer is, of course not! Hell, I woke up and almost forgot about my birthday. Which is funny, because I wasn't the only one who forgot. More on that later. I got out of bed, like usual, and got ready for school. Can't remember what I had for breakfast, but if I had to guess, it was probably a raw Pop-Tart. Which, <laughs> I know, I'm living you the luxurious life with such mouth-watering meals. I showed up to school and went on about my normal activities. And during my first class, my friend Jude wished me a happy birthday. He was one of two people who wished me a happy birthday in school. I know that sounds unusual, but honestly, it was kind of the status quo for me. I made a video four years ago about birthdays, and I said that as you get older, people tend to care less and less about your special day. And as much as I despise my past work, I do have to agree with my statement. It's not the fact that people don't like you, it's just that they don't care, or they just forget. Which is completely understandable. I honestly have no idea how people can remember birthdays like that. If I went on a game show and was asked to list the birthday of my friend, I'd hesitate a little bit. Alright, Mr. L, can you tell me Mason's birthday? Uh, I think it's sometime in January? Are you serious? We've been friends for years, how'd you not know? Well, I mean, uh, hmm, uh, next question please. Okay, can you tell me Salsa's birthday? Of course! It's, it's, um, uh, I, I know it's late September. Dude! What the fuck? How could you forget such an infamous day? Dude, I don't know. I guess it wasn't that monumental. Dude, you made fun of me because I couldn't ride a bike. That's pretty monumental to me. Oh my god. El, do you even know your own birthday? <laughs> Obviously. It's, it's, um, it's, uh, one second. Uh, I'd like to say sometime in March? <laughs> Needless to say, I'm not good at remembering birthdays, which is why I can understand others forgetting. What I don't understand is how a school forgets! 
In my school, they email everyone a document that goes over a bunch of things going on in the school. You know, like clubs and visits from the army. Normal stuff, right? And one of the main things I enjoy checking, besides the substitute teachers list, is the birthday section. I was fairly excited to see myself get recognized on a document, and when the email was sent out, I immediately went to check on the birthday list. Only to find that I WASN'T THERE! I, uh, excuse me? Why aren't I on the list? The people who make these have a system to see everyone's birthday, so how on earth could I have been skipped? It wasn't even the fact that the whole birthday section was gone, no! The list was there, and apparently it was only one person's birthday that day. How do they mess that up? Not only did students forget my birthday, the entire school didn't remember my birthday, because I wasn't on that stupid list. <sighs> okay. I'm getting too upset. Let's just move on. The rest of school went on as normal, and when I got home, I was pretty excited. You see, me and my mom planned my birthday out, and on my big day, we would go to a restaurant and have some fun. The time came, and while we were driving there, my mom started going a different direction. She explained to me that she needed to get something from a friend's house, and I understood, and just looked out the window. We pulled up to my school when I realized, is, is that Kai coming towards us? And to my surprise, my mom and Kai planned to surprise me by having Kai tag along with us for dinner. Except I knew all along. You see, at lunch, I was talking to Kai about how the school forgot about my birthday when she accidentally spoiled the surprise of her coming with us. We went to the restaurant and had some pretty good conversations. And Kai might have gotten a little too comfortable. Well, wait. If we're gonna talk about anything, can we talk about Elle's gorgeous, gigantic, glory-filled yacht? It was a little awkward after that. We finished dinner, drove to Kai's house, and dropped her off. And as we were driving home, not even two minutes after we dropped her off, we almost hit a deer. Take a wild guess who screams louder while being oblivious to what happened before being told. We got home fairly scarred, and I went to my room to do stuff. A little bit later, I went to go take a shower, and when I came back to my room, I stepped in something wet. Now, previously, my room did smell a bit odd, and I assumed it was just some garbage, so I opened my window and took out my trash. When I came back, I could still smell it. So I just gave up and left to shower. After stepping in the wet thing, I looked down to see something truly horrifying. Somehow, while we were out having dinner, my dog managed to get inside my room and give me a special present for me. You've got to be kidding me! I went to my mom's room and told her about the piss, and she told me that I was 16 now, so I should be able to handle it. Ugh, touche, mom. Unfortunately, I didn't know how to work a carpet cleaner, so I did my best to get the stain and smell out. And that is how I spent my 16th birthday! I always hear about sweet 16s and how the 16th birthday is always one of the best parties ever, but I don't think people would consider mine to be one of those. It wasn't even a party, it was just me, my mom, and my friend going out for dinner. I guess you could say I had a not-so-sweet 16. I I'm sorry, I'll, I'll let myself out. Regardless of how my birthday went, I'm thankful that I got to spend it with amazing and loving people. And I hope this video shows you that even if you have a birthday that isn't as good as your other ones, that shouldn't matter. As long as you have fun and surround yourself with people who care and love you, then I'd argue there's no such thing as a birthday that can be better than that. Hey guys, welcome to the end of the video slash end card. Second video of the year! And we're also at the halfway point of the year. I think I'm doing something wrong. Firstly, I'd like to thank you so much for watching the video and making it this far. And if you did enjoy the video, maybe like and subscribe. Oh yeah, another thing. Thank you so much for 8k subscribers. I didn't think we'd hit it as soon as I as we did, but it's cool nonetheless. And now, we're even closer to the infamous 10k. And maybe if we're lucky, we can hit 15k before the end of the year. Like, come on, please, I'm begging! In terms of featured guests, I'd like to thank Mation, Salsa, and my friend Kai for all being in the video and giving me such- and giving such good performance. Couldn't have done it without y'all. I would like to say that I apologize for sounding maybe a bit too egotistical with this video. Looking back, I definitely wrote the script way more, you know, huh, I'm the main character and this is my world and you're living in it, you know, that kind of thing. 
and honestly it was kind of kind of difficult going through parts of the video just because I sounded so just egotistical and I needed someone to just beat me down so I can come back to reality so I'm sorry if I sounded a little too confident in myself um so yeah um I do hope that with summer vacation I do hope that I can probably make or have somewhat more consistent uploads but <laughs> who am I kidding? I can't even post normally, so, you know, you guys probably will get your next video in probably August, I, I bet, because, yeah. Anyways, I'm, I'm stalling, so thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, you know, do all that funny stuff, maybe comment something, and I'll see you in the next one, and stay garbage.